if I connect to the character, like I connected to Eric. Eric is West African. I'm East African, um, but I had a, a bit of an understanding of that world. And so I, I, I don't know, I, tr I tried to add a few things in here and there, but it, would, it, it always depends on the character that I'm playing. I, I feel like if I was playing like, I don't know, an Etonian Oxbridge graduate, I wouldn't quite know <laughs> how to ad lib <laughs> in yeah. that. But with Eric, I was like, okay. I've got this. <laughs> you guys, you, you started as a, as a stand-up, right? Do you, I've, I've always found watching my own stand-up really hard, do you, cause, maybe because I'm awful, but do you find watching yourself acting and yourself doing stand-up really different? Like, are you, or do you see it all as like a similar character doing a thing? Or you, do you have different views to how you watch yourself doing different things? Do you know the only approval that I'm ever looking for is from my mom, yeah? And whether it's stand-up or my like Moby, or on Netflix, her opinion is still that I'm a dickhead, isn't it? So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter <laughs> what I'm watching or how I'm watching it, there's still a very long ass way to go. But like, just in terms of everything that everyone's been mentioning, like when we started Man Like Mobian as a show uh, three years ago, the very first series, me and my, my colleagues, we were, on, we were on set the very first day, it's first thing in the morning, and we were like a bunch of year 10 kids that get kicked out of mainstream education and they get taken out on a day trip. We didn't know what any of the words meant. People were like, would you like sides? Would you like sides? I'm like, yeah, I'll just have my breakfast on. We'll have chips later on. Yeah, chips, we'll have chips later <laughs> We didn't know anything about any of the terminology, <laughs> any of the uses of the words. So, so for me, every single time we do a project, because it's so early on, we're just learning. And, and, and you know, everybody on this live stream as well, just look at the array of, of programs and skill sets they bring to the teams that they do. It's a madness, man. We're learning all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you have to stick, do you stick very closely to the script? Um, Shuti, do you like, do you ever get to improvise or is it like, these are the words, people have spent hours writing them, I'm going to stick to them. Um, I'm saying you, this from, as, a, as an embittered writer, but uh, are you, <laughs> do you, are you like a slave, are you like a slave to the script or is there room to sort of mess about and add stuff? Um, I would say, I, I try my best to be a slave to the script. Um, because obviously people have spent time writing <laughs> so it's always Correct good answer. to say those words <laughs> um, <laughs> but I do try to I think like it just depends on the character that I'm playing if there's a character that I'm playing that I feel a particular connection to and understand in a particular way then I will at least raise the conversation of discussing like a different way of saying it or adding sometimes I'm just not you know just add my own words in just for the just because I, I but, can and will. <laughs> but, uh, pardon? Sorry, I was going to say, in sex, there are, some, there are some West Africanisms in there that I'm like, man put that in himself. Well, yeah, so yeah, like, if, I, if I connect to the character, like I connected to Eric, Eric is West African, I'm East African, um, but I had a, a bit of an understanding of that world. And so I, I I don't know, I, tr I tried to add a few things in here and there, but it, would, it, it always depends on the character that I'm playing. I, I feel like if I was playing like, I don't know, an Etonian Oxbridge graduate, I wouldn't quite know <laughs> how to ad lib <laughs> in yeah. that. But with Eric, I was like, okay, I've got this. <laughs> Yusuf, how much of it is, is improvised and how much of it is, is uh, scripted? And do you, because I've, I've worked with actors in the past who've, if you ask them to improvise a bit, it sort of throws them and they don't feel comfortable with it. And then I've worked with other actors who've loved it and just want to, you know, do, do add amazing jokes and stuff. Where do you fall in that? Do you, do you prefer the script? Or? I, I definitely prefer um, uh, the, the discipline of the script. I need a very rigid frame within which to play. And I love, I love feeling free inside a, a very strict frame. So the script I love. Uh, I, I was one... For quite a few years to read a line and go oh let me just i'd like to adjust that and then call, asking the writer if i could change a particular line and stuff and and, and sometimes, sometimes just to show respect i'd ask if i could change the word the to the word and or something like that <laughs> and, and then some writers go no you know and then you're stuck but um uh, i worked with a guy named nick murphy director named nick murphy former BAFTA winner and he said no there's a there's a discipline to to saying lines that you that you need to remember 
And, uh, and since then, I've kind of gone, okay, somebody has sat down for a long time, written these words. I've got to find a way of making the words work. So that's my approach to it. The other side of the coin is when you're doing comedy and you've got a writer like Rufus Jones, you change the script at your peril <laughs> because any, any, <laughs> any of my attempts to sort of make it funnier did not work because he's thought of the funniest version of it. Um, there were some lines that were, you know, the logic of the, the, the character's journey wouldn't make sense if I said things in a certain way or, or the lines, uh, what, I'm, what I pay particular attention to is, is what does the line suggest about the character's mindset? And if there's something that's slightly off, that's something Rufus wouldn't have thought about or hadn't, hadn't thought about because he, he, he doesn't have that, my, my personal experience of it. And so we would talk about that and sort of adjust little things. But it's, it's about tiny adjustments as opposed to just going for it. Um, and he was extremely generous and said, listen, very fast and loose with this stuff. If you want to change things, you want to do anything. And, and, I, and I tried very hard to go in there and just be like, yeah, let's just see what happens. And you, you kind of can't when the, when the writing is really good. Yeah, yeah. Writing is great. It's, it's, um, it's like you, you change it at your peril, you know? Guys, you're, you're, you are your own boss in, in my beam. So do you find you get to a point where you want to change stuff or do you speak to the other actors and say, please stop changing stuff or what's, how do you feel about it all? It's the polar opposite to what Yusuf said. He's making me feel bad and I write my own show. <laughs> like I should be sticking to my own script. Like in terms of, <laughs> in terms of the way that we work, it's uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a very quick setup and shoot situation. Budgets are low, and so we have to make sure we're getting the best material we can. And, uh, you know, from the first series, when we were all getting to know each other from writers and directors and producers and stuff, we, we spent a bit of time and gave jokes one or two goes. But if I've written a dead joke by the third series, we can immediately identify it and say, yo, that joke is dead, move on. Let's improv something around it. And I'm just blessed to be around people who... Uh, are really talented with improv from Tolu to Tez to, to Dua, you know. Mm. Um, and, and we really enjoy mm. uh, getting that level of improv out because it makes the, the script and, and the show feel a little bit more real and raw, you know? Um, Sean, when you're doing, obviously, Phoebe's scripts and, and you know, they're, they're really, really, really so funny, but do you get a sort of say, if you, if you feel like something isn't working or it doesn't quite fit the sort of your character or whatever, or, I mean... Or any situation, do you, do you ever sort of talk beforehand and say, let's adjust that or change that? Or, do you, or is, it, is it like what, what, you've, what you receive in your sides is what you do? Um, what I receive in my sides 30 seconds before shooting the scene. Um, <laughs> 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 um, I will do my best to remember. I mean, the thing is, is, you know, Phoebe and I went to drama school together. So we've known each other for like, mm, like nearly 17 years now. So we, we have a trust and a, a, a dialogue with one another. And so I, it's, she's such an extraordinary collaborator, Phoebe, because she isn't precious. Um, so we, but our relationship on set is probably different to how she is with other people because she'll, she can, I don't know, be vulnerable with me and say, oh, I don't think this is working. What do you think? Um, otherwise she'll go and like talk to Harry, our director. But um, there's been times where I've sort of said, this is good enough, you need to leave it alone. And, and she has, and, and there's been times where I've said, I remember she rewrote this scene, this was in series one actually, and um, she completely rewrote the sequence and she showed it to me and I read it to her and I didn't even say anything. She just looked at my face and she said, the other one's better, isn't it? And I was just like, you know, so, it's amazing when you have that kind of dynamic. I doubt I'm going to experience that with anyone ever, you know, again. And that's why I hope she keeps employing me. But um, it's, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, those scripts, are, they, they feel perfect. Like, and she really played to the strengths of um, our team on the second series in particular, because she just wrote to those rhythms so, so hard and so specifically, so deliberately. And there, there was definitely, I love what Yusuf was saying about like freedom within the form. So you feel it's really, it's a really safe environment for you to speak up. Um, if you're feeling like it's difficult, whatever, but to be honest, Phoebe always knows, she knows when the rhythm's off. Um, 
and like even the the paedophile joke that's in ep one andrew scott lands like that just came out of her and andrew like like hiding away in a corner and they came and tested it on us <laughs> um on camera and we just you know somehow kept it together but um yeah so it's stuff like that so it does feel playful but you also you want to honor the script 